Alright, we're back. Again. Uh, Twice in one week's a little much. No, it's fine. It's going to be great. We we're, have to cover the arena show. Uh, it, you know what? Kill Tony needs to be an hour. That's why we're late. That's why we're not here. Because of yesterday, we're here on Friday because that motherfucking episode was three, three hours, hours long. It was as long as the Tom Brady roast. That was a movie. That's like a that's like an intermission. That's like a that's like a Christopher Nolan film. Yeah, that no, those are like the old movies you used to get intermission halfway through at one and a half hours so you could take a piss. What are you talking about? You don't remember intermissions? I'm young. <laughs> they still had intermissions when you were young. I don't know what you're talking about. Like Space Odyssey? I never saw it. That's old. That's from the 70s. Yeah. You're not you even fucking old born. movies I said intermissions. That, anyways. So. Rocky had an intermission, I think, at one point. Ah. Uh, yeah. But didn't that, like, kill the momentum of the film? No. Okay. Anyways, we're back. Kill Tony review. What episode is this? Episode six six, six. 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 From the Kia Forum. Me, me, me. It was a fucking Gilligan Island of an episode. What does that even fucking mean? Long. Oh, okay. They never get home. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, you can't tell me a fucking Space Odyssey reference is dated and then, and then follow it up with a Gilligan Island. Are your shoes on the couch? Yeah, they are. Okay. That's gross. Those are your outside shoes. These are my inside slippers. Um, I guess let's get it rolling. Yeah. So the... Okay, before we get started. What? The theme of the episode... I hate doing this. The theme? The, what is the, the theme? general... What was your... Perception of the, the theme was regulars and guests and special guests and special appearances okay, and regulars anyways. and guests. The theme and of the Rick ep- Diaz versus Hans and guests and special celebrities and celebrity guests. The theme of the episode <laughs> <laughs> to me. <laughs> don't ask me a question yeah. if you don't want my honest answer. Caitlin's fired today. <laughs> She's gonna get fired today. This woman it will get fired today. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. It's whatever. At this You're point. getting fired. Okay. Um. So basically, I thought the theme of the episode there was lots of talk of eating ass through the whole episode, and then fights, as in battles. I know Sophie Chick brought up wanting to play with her her fiance or husband's butt, but is that yeah? And how much it, ass eating? There was a every other joke was about ass eating. David Lucas went into it. Some other person went into it. Then the dude with the dildo came on. I mean, you talk about what's on your heart, so. I don't want to eat ass. I don't like eating. I'm not ass. talking about you. I'm talking about. I'm talking about really. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then the other thing, the theme I thought was just there was general fights, like as in battles. Like David Lucas went at everybody. And then the Mexican drum, drum off. off. And then also Rick Diaz. Rick Diaz and Hans yeah, Kim. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we got. The guests, the guest hosts for this time were. Tim Dillon, Post Malone, and... Uh, Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. Was As- there any general things about the episode that Reddit said? Uh, the L.A. crowd sucks balls. Because they were booing, but they were booing for no reason. Yeah, they started the episode with booze, and then by the time they were Like, I done, think they thought it was, like, the cool, fun thing to do, but it kind of takes away from the general experience of everybody. If yeah. If like, okay, we're going to take a minute to wave at everyone. No, I'm trying to clear all this shit. It's fine. Just leave it. Um, because it seems frozen. It doesn't seem Anyways. frozen. Uh, okay. So. The boos. They the were booing, boo. but it wasn't like because someone actually sucked. No, they started off the episode booing and then they would come back. People are coming in the special room. Yes, it is. There we go. Now yeah. it's working. Okay, it was working. You're just in your feelings. Okay, let's talk. Let's continue talking. Okay, yeah, fired. Cool. Uh, okay, off the top, this chick with the national anthem and the guitar and the bass. Do we even have to cover her? I mean, it was whatever. Like, if you're going to do... My opinion... Did Reddit say anything about it? No. Except for, oh, God, that was incredible, or that fucking sucks. My personal opinion, okay. if you're going to have somebody do this, you got to get somebody like Bootsy Collins, Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers, or like Larry Graham. Maybe she's like a cool, new, hip, 
faces that we're too old to know about, though. She does not appear to be as talented as any of those guys. Okay, but I'm not comparing her to Bootsy Collins. I'm just saying. She appears, Maybe she's she, like an she insta-famous bassist. She appears... I don't know who she is, but she appears to be white it girl lo- appropriates... Like, it kind of looks like bass. if Miranda Meadows played the bass but, and wasn't screaming at you the whole time. Yeah, and then she was a little off-key. All right, moving on from her. I think she was trying to be cool. I will say, positively... <laughs> no, not on this chick. I'd fuck that chick. Okay. Positively, Tony killed it with a set. The set of the episode was amazing. What set? The actual set... Like, the setup of the stage, the set. Oh, okay. Like, like stage the set, set dressing. Okay. Well, you say set in comedy, and it could mean, like, a stand-up set. We're having communication difficulties in our relationship today. Okay. Well, you're putting that out there. I'm not. Um, I'm a positive Yeah, his set was dope. I got more to say about the yeah, expensive producer he hired, but... Um, but you're not going to say it? Not right now. I'll talk about that later at the end. Okay, so Pluto Papaya said, uh, the LA crowd, I feel like everyone who got booed at the Kia Forum should be entitled to financial compensation and free therapy. <laughs> they st- The crowd started off booing for everybody. Well, it was one of those things where if it they almost started booing if it wasn't going the way they wanted it to go. No. When, start- like, an, when like a comic's up there and they're not actually like, they're not actually bombing. They're just saying something that you don't want them to say. I like I, you, there was no explaining. Like they thought it was a cool, fun thing to do. They didn't realize they were like destroying the experience. I don't know. They started off booing everybody, and it, and the the comic had to turn them from booing to like applauding. Kind of, but if they decided they didn't like you, they decided they didn't like you. Like one person isn't gonna flip an arena in one minute. So, Everyone's saying that the bear costume that Heath Cortez... How fucked up does he look right now? He looks really fucked up. Do you want me to finish what I'm saying ahead. before okay. you cut me off every fucking time? They're saying the bear costume is like the kiss of death. Like, anytime anyone has to, like, don the West Hollywood bear costume, it's like punishment and, like, a send-off. I mean, I can see that. He fucked up a gig. I would put him in a bear costume, too. I don't even know that guy, and I don't like him. <clears throat> okay. Like, we don't have to rewatch it. And so, let's talk about, I guess, the first dude out, as always, Casey. He was able to use... I was expecting a lot more. What did Reddit say about Casey? Nothing. So, I liked his outfit. I thought it was cool to bring his full fro out. He looked like he went to the salon to get his hair permed. <laughs> but Some, someone used a curling iron on his hair for yeah. sure. He got a blowout. But I was expecting a lot more because he had the full stage. I mean, he used a great deal of it. But I, you know how everybody always says if he's got a bigger stage, he's he playing. uses a great deal of it. He yep. just didn't use it for his whole set. Yeah. And then this is the part where the crowd hated Netflix. We found out that the crowd absolutely shit on no, Netflix. No, I don't even think they hated Netflix. I think... I don't know. This crowd didn't know what they liked. No. When Tony talked about Netflix, they booed him. Okay. They had... So. Okay. Um, so, yeah. They had nothing on, on Casey then, right? Not really. Oddly enough. Well, no props. I mean, it's all the same shit. It's every single fucking week. It's it's almost as if people go on Reddit and they don't read any previous posts on Reddit. I mean, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, you do. I do. And then I'm like, why the fuck are we still coming back every week and being like, Casey Rocket isn't funny. In my opinion, Casey Rocket's not funny. Casey didn't use it. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but Casey Rocket is not. It's like, can we fucking... Can we? Can he we? Didn't use, he didn't use any props this week. No props. This is like three weeks in a row, no, no problem. Good he job, got, Casey. He's got blue sunglasses for no fucking reason. Yeah, I was waiting for him to put those on. I thought he would put them on. Okay, the first guest was Sean McCobb. Oh, McCobb. McCobb. McCobb, okay. And Post Malone got that right. I didn't get anything on Sean McCobb. Nothing from Reddit? Um, not really. There was really nothing on any of the bucket pulls. This was his first time doing stand-up. So, Sean's first time doing stand-up. Um, ever. He, it he, wasn't bad for a first time. Craziest thing he's ever done was skydiving. 
crowd booed him for sky diving. He's, the crowd was stupid. The crowd was fucking he, stupid. He must have been nervous because he was shaking a little bit. You can see it. Literally, it's his first time doing stand up, he's doing it at the fucking Kia Forum. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then the other thing that Tony really wanted to talk about during his interview is about his threesome with two black chicks. Yeah, I kind of think, like, I, can, <coughs> I feel like the whole, like, interview portion, if you don't have some, like, weird sex story, then it's of no interest to Tony. Heidi had a friend today, this episode. Yeah. I, I can't remember her name. I don't think we're meant to know their names. Yeah. And they, but her tits are huge, dude. Who, her friend or Heidi's? Uh, her friend. Those look more natural than Heidi's. Do we agree? I, I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't. Staying out of this one. For the sake of my non communicative marriage. We're going to through this episode. Yeah, it's this fucking, a, it's fucking a, crazy. It's a Bible. Oh, uh, why did we bring RFK Jr. out? Because his wife is a comic? His wife is on so Curb. So RFK's been doing things all over the country. He's been doing comedy shows all over the country. Because his wife was on Curb. Yeah, but Cheryl Hines probably hit him up and was like, hey, this is a perfect opportunity. But he's been doing fundraisers. His fundraisers have been comedy shows. I mean, the Kill Tony fan base is a... I feel like they probably account for 50% of the vote. Yeah. I mean... he They talk, the only thing that RFK... I mean, he was, for the first time, not bad, but he just... For some reason, him having a dead worm come out of his head kept coming up. Yeah, can up. we stop talking about the brain worm? It's like if you're going to go on a PR campaign to kind of like switch the narrative, maybe just don't bring up the brain worm because yeah. now, now I'm concerned about it. About you, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't, if you want to be, my, wasn't concerned if you want to be our president, you might want to get your brain worm checked I wasn't out. concerned about Mind the you, brain I bet you Biden's got a whole nest. I said Biden and <laughs> Trump got like whole fucking like... <laughs> larva nests in their fucking brain. <laughs> I think everyone over the age of 80 has got a brain worm. How do you check for brain worms? Yo, I don't fucking know. Like, what, what are the symptoms of a brain worm that you're like, I should go... Also, this. how did they pull it out of his how head? How do you deworm your brain? Interesting. This, <laughs> in, yeah. Mm. So, notes I had on RFK was his first joke was good and then I it just fell notes, off. Dude. Yeah. Did he even have a joke? Yeah, his first joke know. was good. And then the, the whole Carol Hines coming out was awkward as fuck. That shit was cool. Oh, Cheryl Hines? Cheryl Hines, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. This guy got booed. I will say, can I can I read something without getting cut off? Can I read something Go without ahead. getting cut off? The floor off? is yours. Okay, thank you. Um, someone put that, put uh, it's a Javier Aliaja official. I can't, I can't pronounce that. Said that Tony forgot what makes Kill Tony Kill Tony. And they were disappointed with the show. And their whole point is like, they got hooked on the show because like, because of the bucket pulls and people get pulled out and then they get the shit roasted out of them. And like, this just felt like, like, let's bring out a golden ticket. Let's bring out a legend. Let's, let's bring like, and then like they bring up a bucket pull and they'd have them up for two minutes just to rush them off, just so they could bring, like... Jay Franck, I think his name was, this first guy. Okay, no one gives a fuck about his name. So, like, that's he had, he had a dope the general... Like but then someone else was like, look, if I sold 10,000 tickets to this fucking show, I, I yeah, would I think want a special show. I it's almost like an all-star it. show. I think when you're doing a stadium, you have to all-star it. Like, you, 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 you do, but then maybe rig the bucket pulls. No, you can't do that. Okay, but if it's all about the bucket pulls, do you see what I'm saying? People love this show because it's a train wreck. So if you just do an arena show, then you, you kind of got to commit to the train wreck. Yeah, I think so. Like totally maybe totally have good. all-star guests, maybe swap out the regulars with like all-star like old regulars like bring back some of the old regular like i think there's a way to make it special while maintaining the mm. essence of the show what didn't you like about this i'm not saying i didn't i'm saying you asked me about reddit uh, i'm going to reddit i think reddit's wrong on that one okay someone else agreed that reddit was wrong yeah i mean i think if he was going to do the way he did it he had to do it oh my goodness so 
J Frog, I think that's your name. You got a dope jacket, bro, but you had to eat yeah, a bag a, of dicks for the re- everybody Canadian else. Tuxedo I've ever it seen was a one. car hard jacket. It's actually a dope jacket. You ever got the light denim and the dark denim? Um, after him. Do you think he knows he's black or no? Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> um, after him. It's a very white outfit. That's all I'm saying. Moving on, Doctor Phil <laughs> came out next. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You, it. you thought it. You so apparently the, it. the reason Dr. Phil was there is because Snoop was supposed to be there, but he b- b- bailed last minute. Tony says that during the set. Wait, what? Yeah. So Snoop Adam was, Ray only dressed up to me. Do- Snoop was supposed to be there, but apparently he took a flight and didn't and decided not to do the show. Okay. So he Phil just went through and roasted everybody. He did a half decent. Adam did a good job at roasting everybody. I, I thought it was good. I mean, they're all... I feel like they're all easy targets I mean, and then obviously he takes the seat someone on reddit was like when i saw uh adam ray come out as dr phil i was like well there goes tim dylan and post mole <laughs> that's actually a fact <laughs> the, yeah you can't have dr phil on the same panel as anybody else if anybody else wants to participate yeah. that's the quietest i've ever seen tim dylan he was he only he maybe said five words Aaron Blyle, great. Actually, he was, in my opinion, was one of the better sets of the night. Here's my thought on this. He basically has everything pre... All of his jokes are pre-typed out. So all he has to do is press play. So it's like... It's easy for him to not fuck up his jokes live. Because he can, like, pre-type them and press play. Yeah, but it's the same as comics writing out their jokes and then performing them. But then you have to perform them. You actually have to not fuck up telling them. Like, there's plenty of times I've done a joke a million fucking times and I just fuck it up in the moment. I think his might be more challenging because he actually has to rely on them. Like, he doesn't have any way of of doing... He can't break off if something's not working. I had something, something about... It sounded like Stephen Hawking is is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm not saying he's a bad comment. I'm just being devil's advocate here. I think he had one of the better sets of the night. His Joe Biden impression was great. His, the the thing that tore the house down was when he did a female voice that impre- impersonated for, yeah, for Tony. Tony. Um, the one thing I will say is like, bro, you need to chill on the promotion. He did like an hour <laughs> hour of fucking promotion at the end of <laughs> at the end of crazy. his set. At the end of his set, there was like an hour of what oh, he's up to. It was so many fucking plugs. Yeah, I was like, you know what? If people like you, they're just going to find you. They're already following you. They already fucking know. No but way. I guess if you're in front of a fucking arena, like, yeah, take you, your shot. That's like you going up and listing every show we have till the end of the year when you're on this show. <laughs> Look, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. I don't care. Let's fucking go. Oh, John Luna. Do you want to? <laughs> I I'm so glad. Go they suck roasted. a bag of dicks. Yeah, bro. I'm so glad they roasted the shit You're out of this Your fake guy. fucking retarded falling is dumb. It was a dumb way to start it. Yeah, Tony hates you. Yeah. For bleeding all over, over the stage. stage. It's fucking yeah. disgusting. Yeah, it was kind of dumb. Like, like, is that the comedic value you have? Is you have to fall? He's a fucking dick. I hate that guy so yeah. much. I don't really hate. I do hate people. I, I carry hate. He needs a better act because his act sucks so much he needs a fake fall to try to get attention. Yeah. He should literally just roast his psoriasis and, and Well, and then the, the other thing was the entire panel just turned it into, what the fuck is that shit on your elbow? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Tim Dillon had a... What sur- sucks, too, is he actually had a decent set. So it, like... I feel like he actually could have had a good interview and a great set if he hadn't done that stupid fucking prat fall. And Tim Dillon at one point was like, bro, like, why wouldn't you just wear a long shirt? Yeah, he's Your like, whole set is- why are you walking around with fucking Elvis? <laughs> I know. He's like, I'll take you shopping. Why don't you wear long sleeves? I yeah. forgot about that. that funny. And then he heavy breathed in the mic for the entire set. Yeah. Like, I mean, fuck that guy. He's 27, lives with his fucking mom, wears designer shoes. He's And then Tim Dillon's like, I'm going to take you shopping because your stomach hanging out is not hot. (laughs) 
Tim Dillon knows hot. Tim, D- Tim Dillon went blonder though, right? Is he blonde as shit right now? <laughs> and then Tony said at one point to him, he says, so you just go around if it's a hot day grossing people out with your elbows? <laughs> <laughs> And then Tony, and Tony at a certain point asked him if he gets pussy. He's like, no, I live with my mom. Oh, my God. Yeah. He got, he got fired from a podcast company. We know, don't we know why that was? Didn't somebody tell us? For being because a we're, fucking dirtbag piece of shit, probably. He did something. We, we heard that story anyways. And then uh, after a while during the interview, they basically just told him to fuck off because Tony <laughs> didn't want him dripping blood on the stage. <laughs> Oh, fuck that guy. He got everything he deserved in that moment. Yeah, we're not big fans of John Luna. We have a lot of... Should we just say why we don't like John no, Luna? No, we should not talk about why we dislike John Luna, except for go fuck yourself, Yeah, John go Luna. fuck yourself, bro. When you hear this... <laughs> I don't think you'll ever hear it, but like, you go hear fuck this, yourself, If this ever gets John back Luna. to you, you can fucking eat three bags of dicks. It's almost like God knew he was a yeah, piece of shit. shit. It was and it was like, like here. We're going to make your elbows match your personality. Yeah. And then next was the infamous moving on from. Yeah, what happened next? Oh, Ari Shafir's Ari talk. Shafir. Oh wait, I got something on this. Did, wait, wait, wait! I want. Did Reddit say anything about John Luna? I don't know. No, when the episode first came out and it was live, yeah, there was some shit. I didn't get screenshots of it, but it was like basically just them roasting him for his fucking elbows. Yeah, he just. I got something. So now Ari decided to come out in a Kobe jersey with his dick and balls hanging out. Um, I thought I screenshotted this. Let me see. And at a certain point, he pulled the phone out of his ass and said it was Dr. Phil. Someone phone. asked who's got the screenshot of Ari's ball sack, trying to see Ari's balls again. And then the big red machine said, this post touches my soul. And then Rangus Rovis 19 said, balls are underrated. Noble Cap said, no bro, it's staying in my vault. And then Rude Opportunity 705 was like, I sent it to you. So that guy got balls. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I swore I screenshot it. I guess I fucking didn't. Um, someone was like, how the fuck... How the fuck can uh, how the fuck can uh, Louis C.K. try to show his dick and balls to a woman in a private room, but this guy can show his dick and balls to an entire arena and a thirteen-year-old, and nothing happens? I think the difference is Louis jerking off. This feels masturbatory. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> yes. Masturbatory. 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 Is masturbatory a word? What yeah. does it mean? I'm opening it up. Because I don't know how Siri works. Okay, except all these cookies. Uh, adjective masturbatory. See meaning and use. This is okay, way I'm unnecessary. Over. Hold on. Why do I have to sign Anyways. in with a fucking Oxford Dictionary library card? Uh, next, uh, uh, it was... I don't know. What is your opinion of this? What? I what don't is, want a subscription. What's your opinion of this? What? Him showing his Comedically. Balls? Um, it's not. It's like low hanging fruit, it's, right? It's shock value for fucking 1980. Like, it's even, I feel like it's outdated shock value. Do, did you find it funny? No, I didn't think anything was funny about it. Okay. I just, I don't know. It's like, what, the fifth fucking time he's done it or something like that? Yeah. Is it just an ego thing? Like, look, I can pull, pull up my balls at a... I guess. At a, an arena and get away I with it? I think the Lakers jersey is supposed to... Oh, yeah, he helicoptered his dick too. after. He helicoptered and there was a helicopter Kobe joke. Because okay. he helicoptered his dick. Yeah, but that wasn't even his joke. All right, moving on, Ari, whatever, bro. Um, I just don't see the point. And then Cam got a standing ovation. They loved his ass. Oh, uh, we found out that he... Was in fact did get someone knocked out. So we mentioned that a couple weeks ago. And he got the abortion. Good for him. And he yeah. paid for it in Florida. And they, I guess, they had to lie and say that they made the baby in Florida. What? Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I remember that. Now. 
Alright, well, you got a good standing question. Can sets were normally good. I mean, I didn't. This wasn't like a blow my mind set. It's like a mid set for him, I think. No, but I did kind of like him yelling at the LA audience. That made me feel good. Yeah. Uh, I guess that was a big re- Did they say anything about Cam? No. Everything's mostly about Rick Diaz and Joel Berg, the drummer. Okay. The next guy was... Oh, this guy. I think... And someone thinking that uh, William Montgomery was already coked out. So the Andrew Avia, I think it was, or something like that. This guy. I feel like they roasted him, but he I don't remember booed. why. He's been doing comedy for one year. They asked him what inspired him to start doing comedy. He said George Floyd. <laughs> he said that. No. I will. This is the point of the episode where Red Band was super on point with the sound effects this, this time. Yes. Red Band was having a good old time. And then Red Band came in at the end. He's like, Red Band had a joke about him looking, because he was wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. Red Band's like, you look like Jar Jar Stinks. <laughs> and that actually did well. Yeah. Oh, and this is the guy, this is where the ass shit started. This is the guy's like, I love to eat oh, ass. Oh, right. I, I think on, I checked out of this guy's set. Yeah. But this is where the, all the ass eating shit started from. When I'm saying there was a theme, it's from this guy on. I did not pick up on the ass eating. Yeah. yeah. This was an adventure to watch. It was a lot. That's a lot of Kill Tony. It's like a lot. They brought back Jared Nathan, golden ticket winner. <laughs> Yo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin Kemp. Caitlin has a hard time watching him without busted. <laughs> Look. Look. You literally have to have a disability. When apparently, if he to try, be a golden if, ticket winner, like, if he tries to talk, he he stutters. But if he whispers, but if he, he yells or whispers, whispers he, he doesn't. doesn't stutter. Like, ex- make <laughs> make the math math. <laughs> make the math math. <laughs> he says he gets through security really quick because he's got disability privilege. What at, at the airport? You missed that? No. Yeah, so he gets to the airport. Wait, 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 wait. So I don't have to buy global entry no, or TSA just, pre-check. I just gotta act retarded. You're taking off your shoes is a struggle. I take it, take, 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 take. No, I don't think a stutter qualifies you for. Uh, oh, because he got downs too, right? Definitely, I think. Yeah. He gets asked a lot if he's Shane Gillis' his uncle. Shane Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> people ask him if he likes grilled cheese. <laughs> He's sick and tired of people asking him if he oh likes grilled cheese. Oh my god, I can't. And then yeah. Red Band had another good one. He was right in the pocket today. Red Band, this is a good episode for you. You yeah, were having fun for tonight. For real. This is a good Red Band. Yeah. We enjoyed the shit out of you. Yeah. Oh my god, that guy was like... Because we got Aaron Belial. We got this guy. We got... I'm pretty sure Rick Diaz... And Hans Kim are super on the spectrum, right? Yeah. Next was a chick. Her name was Sophie. We know Sophie. Oh, I don't remember that. We know Sophie because we booked Sophie. Oh, okay. We've worked with Sophie. Alright. I'm pretty sure Sophie has hit us up to be on the dog show as well. Okay. Looks like at this point, I fuck it. Crowd was quiet during her whole set. No, they just booed her immediately, and she wasn't even saying shit that just... Like, they booed her for being married. Like, Oh, she came right out, and the first thing... She she had a whole joke about groceries. Like, putting a grocery bag... Using a grocery bag as a condom. Yeah. But then Tony, as soon as she was done, he, he's, he's like... He's like, I'm surprised they didn't ask to put it on your face. No, he's like, you sure the grocery bag wasn't meant to be put on your face? That's literally the, what I just said. Continue. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what I'm looking at. Okay. Yeah, he insulted her. He was like, because you're ugly. Like, are you sure it wasn't meant to be oh, your she, face? Her whole thing was she roped her husband into marrying her. Because she's a nurse. And she he's a nurse. They went on two dates, and after two weeks, she went down on him. That's how she got him. So she made all the first moves. Yeah. But that's like kind of a thing. I don't know about that. We didn't do any of that. I made all the first moves in our relationship. Excuse me. Excuse me. I made all the first moves. What are you talking about? 
The first time we kissed, it was what? me. Okay. I but picked I you up was, off the ground. I, was the one. I picked you okay. up off the ground Look, in front of your car. very argumentative today. I need you to chill the fuck out. <laughs> no. When the cameras go on, our fight goes over here. No, it doesn't. It continues okay, for the well, public. Well, then that makes a bad episode. So, uh, The next dude, Buckapole, was J.P. Hines. No, this is a like a... This is like a golden ticket. This is another golden ticket guy. Did the internet say anything about this guy? Nope. So, I got a lot. I got a lot queued up for the drummer. Okay, so let's move fast. And for Rick then. Diaz. The set was whatever. He's been doing comedy for three years. He's breathing super heavy in the mic. Yeah. He was conceived. Yo, fat, he was conceived at a fat Bob. Comics. Fat comics in an Are you going to let me talk no, about No, because you're just reading notes. I actually have shit to say. They shouldn't put fat comics in this arena setting without having them queued up. Because what happens is they have to go wrangle them from wherever the fuck they're sitting. And then the entire time they're on stage, they're like... <laughs> Me done? So he was... Fine, conce- you can just read the whole time. I'll be a, a silent part. He was conceived in a <laughs> Bob's Big Boy. <laughs> His parents fucked in a booth in a Bob's yeah. Big Boy. Uh, and then the next guy was Joel, the drummer. Yes. Do you have notes on this? I have Reddit reviews. Yes. Is that the, what you would like? That's the point of this fucking okay. show. Okay. <laughs> I, do not I will interrupt this. you if you're just reading, just so you know. Oh, wait, no, I missed a chick. Oh, we, uh, Wendy, yeah. This is a chick that was in prison. Wendy. I did not listen to this chick at all. She was in prison, went to prison for introducing two people that did a drug deal. They were trying to buy crystal meth. Is that why she has a good vibe shirt where it was clearly printed off center? Yeah, her. this is her eighth time doing stand-up. Okay. She was, the whole crowd was quiet during that, but they didn't boo her. <laughs> what I remember. I mean, maybe they got yelled at at that point. And then, yeah, Joel. Yeah. The old drummer came out. Uh, this guy. <laughs> I mean, someone was like, someone feels like he very clearly won the uh, drum off. So they're like, they feel like uh, this. What's this guy's name? Lumpy Staff twenty three seventy two. So does anyone feel a little bummed out um, that a piece of the Kill Tony mystique is a little ruined? Like going for Mexican drum offs and regular ship battles won't really feel like they have any real stakes at all. I can brush Rick getting to keep this ticket because I think he deserves it. It's completely terrible as a stand-up comedian. But Joelberg won that drum off, no questions asked. But also, like, I don't think I don't think Joel's gonna just fuck it up and move to fucking Austin. He's the door guy at the store right now. Yeah. So it's a setup for entertainment. That's why Michael Gonzalez went first. Um, someone also said Joelberg seemed like a coked out mess. Embarrassed Emu 420. So Joelberg seemed like a coked out mess. Don't think he had it to relocate to Austin. Anyways. They say anything about him climbing the, after the drum off, they say anything about him climbing. I think that's why they think he was coked out of his mind. My opinion, Michael uh, had a better actual technical drum set, like. But like, if you're gonna go off. Per, but he just, but Joel just basically had, had more antics. Performance. Yeah, his was a performance. So if you're just going on drums, Michael, in my opinion, won. So. Okay. Cool. And this was like three hours long. I'm surprised. Yeah, and then he sucked his own dick. He had that dildo yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, that weird dildo. I think that might have been a. I think that might have been an old antic. From when the show was in LA. What he used to suck his own dick. It might have been a thing. Well, you guys can fact check us. And then David Lucas came out. David, you destroyed. In my opinion, this was the best part of the night. He actually did was on point tonight. This this time, he fucking destroyed everybody. His jokes were hot. I have nothing from Reddit. He did some joke, but he, uh, yeah. Oh, this is the point. There was a joke, something about uh, Shaq. <coughs> Somebody made a, a joke about him looking like Shaq's mom or something. I want to fast forward it. Did you notice that? That he kept pointing, like, don't do this, don't do this. Because uh, somebody, somebody's in the crowd or something. He kept pointing down. Like, you think his mom was there? 
something like that. find it. Okay, well, keep talking in the meantime. What do you think happened? Yeah, here it is, I think. What happened? You have to explain it. So, he was on stage. I gotta ask David about this. So, David was on stage and he kept pointing down. He's like, he kept doing his hand like this and pointing down at a certain point. And it was all when they were doing a joke about Shaq. He looks like Shaq's mom. Saying that he looks like Shaq's mom. Yeah. I don't think Shaq was there. I don't know. We'll have to ask him about it. I gotta find it. Because this is now yeah. officially dead air. Yeah, I gotta find it anyways later on. But there will be an update. We can update next episode. Yeah, maybe we can actually have David. I'll get David on. And we talk could get him. David on. I think he would do that. Okay, David, good job. Yeah, David said it was great. Let's move on. Yeah. Um, linger here for a minute. And then there was an ad. Oh, they, oh, this is over the battle. So we got to the Rick versus Hans. What was the... Oh. I mean, Hans did win. Also, I don't get Rick. Uh, this, this is my favorite. Discount Cereal said, uh, was Rick Diaz chewing his own teeth so distracting? Because he was. He looks like a fucking vampire, dude. So, my notes were that Hans' delivery was way better and he won with the George Floyd joke that he did. Yeah, I feel like I've seen him do that live. Recently. Hans hates all you people on Reddit. Hans hates you. <laughs> I would do that. He says that on stage. I would do if I were him. Oh, and then Hans. Hold people... on, hold on, hold on. I got to finish this one thread where they ask about Rick Diaz and his teeth. Used appointment 3985 said he was hoping you would be enameled with him. And then, <laughs> ab- and then absolutely unlikely said, buddy, we don't make quality puns like that here. We just pretend Tony is gay and Casey is funny. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's very rarely is Reddit like actually like fucking funny. No offense, Redditors, but I thought that one was good. Hans yeah. became a Kill Tony Hall Famer. And Bobby Lee gave him the award, right? What? Yeah. Well, did he become a Hall of F- Is that yeah, what that was? Famer. Okay. He's I a- thought it was like a you won the battle. No, he won the battle and he became a Hall of Famer. Well, I guess good for him then. I mean... He deserves it. He's been through enough with this show. Yeah, he is Hall of Fame. Good for him. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to show it. There he is, getting his little award. Good for you, Hansi. <laughs> Fucking retarded. <laughs> so dumb. And then we moved on. I think the only way to finish the show was William Montgomery. Yeah. Everyone thinks he was already coked out of his mind. I don't know what the fuck this suit was, but. Is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. And he said it cost him like three thousand dollars, but he's not even wearing shoes. He which said is it was a rave weird. outfit. He said it was a rave outfit. Okay, I don't know. Hey Brandon, did you catch? Okay, I gotta ask Brandon because maybe he got Brandon when David Lucas was on stage. Did you oh, catch how he was like pointing down when they did the joke about Shaq's mom? I gotta go back and find it later, but. It was weird. It was. I feel like we're was, never gonna be able to move on from this. But I can't. Maybe you should just text David. Yeah. Um, I think that's. Um. Everyone's saying he seemed and sounded so different. I feel like Brandon didn't normal. see it. Okay. So. The big thing with this one was once he was done his set, the whole crowd wanted him and Dr. Phil to kiss. Yes. Was there anything on the Reddit about that? No, because everyone on Reddit's also gay. No, I think everyone's just used to everyone making out now. There's no intimacy in kissing anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not going to <laughs> It's intimacy. It's not for the public or Brandon. 
Brandon will get to see it tomorrow. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, Will did a good job. I mean, as he always does, finishing off the show. And then my only thing with the end of the show is my other criticism. Nobody said anything about the three-hour-long titty fuck song. <laughs> It, Nobody's gonna talk about the, so the titty long. fuck song went on forever. <laughs> like Tony just like left the <laughs> building. They, half the stage is gone, and they're still doing the fucking titty fuck thing. Oh my god! Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for Tony to retire and it just to be become the kill Phil show. At this point, it's like that's what happens. Is Phil, Phil, and Tony just create this vacuum, and because you didn't hear shit from Post except for once or twice. Yeah. You didn't hear real Tim Dillon. He's usually outspoken. I wanted more from Tim Dillon. Yeah. It's a little disappointing. It's it's interesting. Like I don't know why why he thought he needed a third person. Do you think Tony's like feels he's yeah, not strong enough th- to carry no, it? No, I also just think like. Adam and Tony are at this point now where, like, it's a big show. It's an arena show. Like, you think Adam Ray isn't going to do it? Yeah. So, I don't know. The Titty Fuck song literally went on for ten minutes. It was so long, It was dude. ten minutes of Titty Fuck song. I'm like, how fucking high or drunk you, do you have to be? The, the Titty Fuck song started You can with, tell even William doesn't want to be there anymore. No, this started with a full crowd, and by the time they were done, the titty fucks off. Look, I'll show you. The crowd was empty. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it just went on and on and on and on. It's so long. Oh, yeah, then they brought the Asian chick out again. <laughs> we're still going. This is ridiculous. At this, at this point, just put titty fuck up on... Spotify. Yo, yeah. I mean, Adam, if you want to make some money, do that. I'm sure they could do that. I don't know. Do we think the YouTube theater show is going to be the one that's dropped next week? It's interesting you dropped this one, 666. I didn't pick that up. Yeah, everyone was anticipating what guests would be on the 666 episode. And then they get this one instead. Yeah, it was it was interesting. All right. See, the crowd's empty by the time we're oh done. Oh my with. god! <laughs> That's how long the, they walked everybody from the theater. To Who the fuck is this random dude in the middle with a kill Tony shirt? Uh, I'm sure he's part of the client crew. I just, Tony's so tired. I mean, I, Where did he go? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Well, right. Okay. So let's let's rate it. Oh, I fucking hate this part. Okay. So so for bucket pulls. I feel like the, they were they could have been fucking worse. It's just you didn't have a I'm gonna good give it crowd. A, I'm gonna give it a two. Oh. Yeah, I hated I hated the bucket bowls. They all sucked in my opinion. I would give it at least a four. Okay, and then guess. It's hard when they don't talk. You can't really. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, do we consider uh, do we consider Doctor Phil a guest at this point? Yeah. Okay, so. But, like, I'm also, like, disappointed that, we, like, you have fucking Post Malone there. Yeah. You have Tim Dillon there. Like, what? True. Yeah, and they didn't really, because the Tony and, and Dr. Phil just take over. So, I don't know. what. seven? Yeah, seven's a fair score. And then overall en- enjoyability of the episode or entertainment value. What are you giving it? Seven? I'm going to give it a six because this motherfucking thing was too long. (laughs) This shit was way too long. We tried. We were going to do it yesterday. But then we opened this shit up and it's three hours fucking long. I got shit to do, man. This is not happening. I'm trying to put up six other shows. (laughs) Not sit down and watch this shit. We're trying to go back to Hawaii. Yeah, we're going back to Hawaii. Um, All right, so... That's that. Oh, if you're in around in Austin this weekend, come out to uh, what? Dripping. Oh yeah. We'll be in Dripping Springs Saturday. Tomorrow, and then we got our, our first new weekly crowd work only show that's being filmed for YouTube on Wednesday. Yeah, at first, Roscoe's. Ten tickets sold are only five. Five bucks. And then we're doing a new monthly. We can officially talk about it. <gasps> 
At Aviator Nation. Aviator Nation. Uh, starting in July 19th. Yep. And what else? And then our survival of the quickest show. Yep. So. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> and then I think that's all we have to promote right now. Yeah. But three hours. Oh, yeah. Rocky Roberts. Quit the fucking improv and move to Austin. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We'll put you up. We'll put you up. Oh, Kayla's doing a set tonight, too. Oh, yeah, I'm doing sets tonight. Where are you trying to make it, Brandon? He's coming to Roscoe's. Uh, I, the survival of the quickest isn't tonight, if you think it is. We rescheduled it. Yeah, we, we yeah, rescheduled it. I was like, that. what do you mean coming tonight? <laughs> uh, okay. Just All right, walk. we got to go. Yeah. It's All been right. emotional. Yeah, it's been way too emotional.